Okay, IED. Today we're going to try to focus on the uh, center shell or the you know the middle part of the pin, and for the carabiner pinned uh, disassembly exercise. So we're taking a 3D model and we're putting it all back together, um, and we've already created the pin cap. I think this is the one. Uh, we've already created the pin cap and the grip, and now we're going to continue moving back from here. So we're going to start at the threaded place. Uh, the threaded cylinder and then we're going to move our way back here and we're going to try to do this in as few steps as possible uh, There are lots of different ways to do this uh, There are several different YouTube videos of other people doing this as well, too So if you look at my way and you're like, you know what? I don't really like the way that this is going then <laughs> go look at somebody else's and there's got to be a workflow that works for you so I'm going to try to start with this pin uh, going from the bottom of the pin up. So I'm going to click the, the top view and I'm going to create a sketch on the top view. I'm going to click here and I'm going to start at the bottom of the pin and just kind of barrel its way outwards. So I'm going to create a circle and if we used our caliper measurements correctly, the diameter of the first one should be 0 0.670 inches and then go ahead and finish your sketch and then we're going to extrude this sketch so I'm going to click the extrude button and I'm going to click the cylinder and it's going to move up and we're going to extrude it up 1.425 and that's going to give us part of the length of the pin now whenever oops I didn't mean to uh, finish clicking on that right click and then go to edit if you did like me and just hit enter um, if you look at the actual pin design, it's it's got a little bit of a taper to it. So it goes from a radius of 0 0.670, and then as it continues to go up the uh, pin, it goes to a new, I'm sorry, a diameter of 0 0.670, and then it goes up to a new diameter of 0 0.710. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add a little bit of a taper to this. So we're going to put a draft on it, and it's going to make it a little bit bigger uh, on the top side. So let's see here. I think we can, oops, no, we don't want a second in position. Uh, we can change the draft angle. Uh, we can also, let's see here. I don't think we really need to change any of those. I think we're just going to kind of eyeball it with the, 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 degre uh, the degrees. So this is a little bit of a too wide um, law, or a, what's it called? A, a too wide of a draft. So I'm going to go to 2.5 and just kind of shrink it down a little bit. And then we say, you know what, that looks all right. We're going to just go ahead and go with it from there. Uh, we're trying to reverse engineer this. We're not trying to exactly 100% copy it. We're just trying to get, you know, like close enough to it. Uh, for the next part, we're going to, it's going to taper downwards. So it's going to have a new uh, end point to it. And let's see if I can find that cap, because I'm not really sure if I actually recorded that radius value. Let's see here keep saying radius, but on shape does diameters. See that top one is uh, 0.525. All right, so we're going to extrude again. And I'm just going to click on extrude and I'm going to click on this surface and I'm going to make it move out. And the distance that it goes out is uh, 0.960 inches. And then I'm going to add a, just like last time, I'm going to add a draft, except this time we're not going to draft inwards or, or we're not going to expand outwards. We're going to go the other direction. So we're going to go three degrees and we're going to go the other direction as well, too. Uh, this one shrinks down a little bit further on this side. So instead of having a, um, you know, it's going to look like it has a little bit more of a, of a draft to it. Okay. Now, if you want to use the uh, loft command, you can probably get better ideas on these sketches and get them a lot closer to each other. Uh, but I'm definitely just kind of going for a good enough for government kind of uh, methodology here. So I'm going to click the green check mark. And there's two more circles that we need to make. Um, the first one, I'm going to create a sketch on the top up here. And it's going to have a uh, diameter of 0.375. So I'm going to create a circle with a diameter of 0.375, hit enter, and then we're going to extrude that out a very small amount, and 
I think I probably need to find out what that amount is. Looks like that amount is about, let's see here, 0. 0.150. So we're going to hit extrude, and we're going to move this out. Not one inch, 0. 0.150. And hit green check mark. And then the next one is going to be, I believe, a little bit shorter, definitely. I think that's going to be 0.1. It is, yeah. So we're going to make one more circle. And the top, create a sketch on the top part of the circle. And then we're going to make another circle. Click the circle tool and move it out. And that's going to be um, 0.25 inches. You can see it's just a little bit shorter. And then we're going to extrude it out. And we're only going to extrude it out uh, 0.1 inches. So I'm going to extrude out 0.1, hit enter. And that's going to give you a 3D model for this. Now, I think we have a, one more thing that we need to do, because this kind of gives you a general idea of what the pin looks like from uh, this angle. However, uh, there's some holes that are inside it as well. So we've got some holes that we have to worry about. Um, the way that this works is, well, let's see here. How about, how about this? How about we hollow it out first? So we're going to use the uh, shell command. So I'm going to hit shell. And I'm going to hollow out with this. Let's make it, how about 0.05 inches for the thickness. And we're going to click OK. I'm going to check and make sure that it went all the way through there. Looks like it did because I can see all of the different circles that go through. And so we have it hollowed out. Now I, we, what we need to do is we just need to create holes in the side. And then we're going to uh, rotate that pattern all the way around. So we're going to try this. I'm going to create a plane. And we're going to use that plane to create a sketch on the side. So I'm going to click plane. And then you need to click on either the front or the right side in order to get a sketch that goes along with it. And what it's going to do is it's going to create a, uh, a plane that we can create a sketch on. And then we can use that to extrude or cut into the pin. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, my potato is trying really hard here. Uh, make sure that the plane that you make uh, doesn't go through. Uh, make sure that's like projected outside the object. So I'm going to try to make sure that this plane is outside the object. I think if it was a default of one inches, that might have actually worked just fine, to be honest. So I'm going to just make sure that it's outside the plane like this. And then I'm going to click the green check mark, and I'm going to create a sketch on it. So I'm going to create a sketch on plane one. So I'm going to click on plane one. And then I'm going to go to that side profile. And I'm going to look and see uh, where I need to create this. Since I made the pin right on the middle of this axis, I can create my box for cutting this out right in the middle. Okay, So I know that uh, the distance of these pins, uh, of this slot in the middle, has a uh, 0 0.750 length to it. And I also know that it's got a 0.25 length on the other side. So I'm going to create a rectangle, but I'm going to use the center point rectangle. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow me to kind of get, uh, whenever I get in the center, wherever I want it to be, I can click. And then the two values that I'm going to put in here should automatically line up with where I want this. So like, see how it says 0.2? I can then type in uh, 0.25. And then for the top one, I can type in 0.75, and that looks reasonable. If you want to make sure that it's in the middle, uh, you can take that distance, that 0 0.960, and cut it in half. So you can create a uh, line. Let's see here. How about a dimension line right here from this point to this point? And you can say that that is... 0 0.960 divided by 2. And it should kind of line it up. I was pretty close right there. All right, so um, let's see. If I look at the pin, it doesn't have a square uh, slot in it. It's kind of rounded. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the fillet button, the sketch fillet. And the sketch fillet should allow me to create something with the radius. Now, 0.25 is way too big. Let's go 0.125, and that should just kind of half round it out. Oops, there should be a way to do that more than one, but oopsie. Okay, so I'm just going to click again the two sides, 
and there's 0.125 and I don't know if I can do it more than once and hit enter and I'm gonna click click again 0.125 and I'm gonna click click again 0.125 there we go uh, and if you can do all four at once congratulations to you I totally didn't do it that way but that's okay I did four different steps um, but I'll survive. So I'm going to click the green check mark, and you should have the sketch right outside on this pin. It's kind of like out here. So we're going to click uh, sketch. Oh, no, 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 I lied. Sorry. We're going to click um, extrude, and we're going to extrude this slot. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to remove. We're going to cut. We're going to cut in and see how the slot, once it goes into cut mode, uh, and, and if it's cutting the wrong direction, hit this flip to flip it from the opposite direction, but you should see that it's like actually creating a hole right in the middle right here. And I don't want that hole to go all the way through because I'm going to just use the um, circular pattern tool to make it go the rest of the way. So it looks like it looks good to me. So I'm going to click the green check mark and there's one of the holes. All right. So now we're going to click the uh, circular pattern tool, which looks like this. And I never remember how to do this. Let's see here. We're going to click on, make sure you click on the top part. Make sure you click on feature pattern because this is a feature that we're wanting to, uh, that we're wanting to duplicate here. Okay. And then the axis of the pattern is going to be any one of these circles and make sure that it says that it's got four and it's going to loop it all the way around. You can double check and make sure that it went all four around. And to me, it looks like it did. So I'm going to hit the green check mark, and there we go. Um, it looks like we have a rough version of the shell of the pin. And like I said, there's a lot of different ways to do this. Uh, you're more than welcome to find your own way and find your own path, but this is one way to do it. Uh, Y'all have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.